Hey folks, Technivorous here, and this is Kira 5.1. Today we're going to be going over what is updated in this new version. It's been out for a couple of weeks now. I'm lagging behind. Sorry about that. But before we get into it, I need you to go ahead and reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button and give it a good first layer squish. All right, now that we got that out of the way, I am going to throw you a curveball here. And yes, this is Kira 5.1, and although there was a slew of bug fixes that we can see if I open up the what's new menu back up here. We're going to skip all this. This is actually pretty cool. Watch for this in the future. We're going to be getting this uh, metal expansion kit, and we're going to try doing this metal printing. I'm, I, I'm, I haven't looked into whether or not it's just for the Ultimaker printers yet, but I think we could probably cobble something together. So let's skip through all this stuff we normally go through here. We're going to jump to this. Okay, yes, so look at this slew of bug fixes here just between now and the last version, okay? Um, that is basically the gist of why I do these videos, and I know that nobody really comes here to watch me read these. So um, since there was no major changes other than bug fixes, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the cool extensions that are already available for 5.1, um, starting with this one so this is one of my favorites so this is an extension that shows an in-depth detailed description of all of the options in Kira that you have available and it tells you exactly what it does and gives you a little graphic so you can highlight pretty much any line and you can see uh, a, an example object you can see what it affects and what it's affected by and you can do that with pretty much everything in here okay so this expansion Let's go ahead and open the marketplace, and I will show you here. Um, is the settings guide okay by Ghost Keeper, and this one is amazing. I have a few other ones in here, um, such as Mesh Tools, which we might take a look at real quick. Uh, interestingly enough, with 5.1, Arc Wel Welder is really no longer needed uh, because they improved the number of segments they have in a circle in this version, and it is a lot, lot smoother. So. Um, Let's see. The other one I wanted to show you guys is this handy measuring tool. So if I click on this guy here, um, I can click on a point on my object. Say I want to know how big the one is. I can click on that wall there and then click on that wall there. And it gives me a distance um, of, of where they are. Um, so that's pretty sweet it'll measure that I oh, know it moved again um, so pretty useful tool pretty cool and it comes in very very handy and uh, while we're on the topic let's go up to my extensions bar here you can see I've actually added quite a few so um, remote support um, this is, it's pretty cool. Let's see. I'll show you what it does here. So, um, basically, this extension is going to try and speed Kira up for me. There's also an extension that you can install that will load Kira and then load all of the modules after, which makes it load extremely fast. So, I don't want to wait for this. Um... Profile Analyzer. It's supposed to say Profile. It says Profile. Um, but this is uh, basically just a bunch of data for what this is. Um, kind of marks anything that it thinks is odd. Startup Optimizer is one I definitely recommend that you check out. That's the one I was talking about that makes things go a lot faster. So very, very cool. Um, calibration parts. This is a, look at all these tests in here. You can add a cube, a cylinder, a sphere, a tube, a calibration cube, temp towers, different temp towers, retraction towers, acceleration towers, XY calibration tests, add a hole test, add a bridge test, add a thin wall test, all sorts of cool stuff that you can print to test your printer's accuracy so um, all of these are available in the marketplace 
If you don't see them here, you do need to download and install them. Once you do that, you will need to restart Kira. So I highly recommend finding all of the ones you want, installing them, and then reloading Kira. Although, doing too many at a time can make it difficult to tell what each one does. So maybe go one at a time if that's your preference. And I don't know, guys. That's basically going to be it. I hope you hit the subscribe button earlier, but if you haven't yet, make sure you hit it right now. I make a video each time Kira releases a new version. Unfortunately, like I said, the updates in this version were slightly disappointing, other than that added segmenting for arcs, because the metal printing actually needs an external kit, which is not a big deal. I didn't expect to be just throwing metal into my machine, um, but I don't think it uh, warranted a a new version but all the bug fixes definitely did and it's nice to see that as always Kira is on top of taking care of the things that we find wrong so if you find any bugs make sure you submit a bug report that's how these things get better and that's why Kira is as awesome as it is today alongside the fact that a lot of people put in a lot of time to make awesome extensions like the ones I just showed you so make sure you check some of those out they can make your work day a lot easier when it comes to 3D printing. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. Technivorous out.